and yeah and um yeah and yeah Hello YouTube, welcome back to the Every Closet. Editor Ethan here. We are continuing off from our last video, except this one is all of our Poshmark US sales over 50 US dollars. These are all single item sales. But uh, yeah, because we split the video in half, Poshmark Canada and Poshmark US, there wasn't an intro filmed. So you get this. Yay. Anyway, back to Steph. Let's go from the US closet, just the things that sold for over $50. First was this Maj, Maj, Barquet Cactus Embroidered Satin Varsity Barber Jacket in Cream. This is an EU size 36. I believe that's the smallest size that Maj does when it's doing EUs instead of one, two, threes. This sold for 75 US dollars, giving us 60 US dollars in take home after fees. So again, with the US dollar, because it's at, and it's been at around 1.3 times the Canadian dollar for a long time now, actually, since like September or August even. We're gonna count that as, because they take 20%, but then you add back on almost 30%, we're gonna count it as the price that it sold as, as our take home amount. So it sold for 75 US dollars, giving us around 75 Canadian dollars in our take home. And we got this at a consignment store for $20, which is fantastic. So giving us around a $55 profit. Amazing. Love it. Moving on. Next was an icebreaker merino wool 200 fitted quarter zip long sleeve hooded women's shirt. This sold for 57 US dollars, giving us around $57 in Canadian after fees but conversion. This was in the size large and I remember getting this at Value Village. It was $17. So assuming 50, yeah, 57 ish Canadian, that would be around a $40 profit. Totally what I expect from Icebreaker. In a size large and it didn't have holes, I was like, get in my cart. Next was this Etro Italy gray and black Cupro embroidered short sleeve pencil dress in a size US 10. Saying things is hard. <laughs> this sold for 91 US dollars, giving us around $90 after fees. And I actually got this for $30 at a consignment store. Etro is very expensive. So you can usually sell it over $100, especially for something like a dress. 90 US seemed to find me. So we would have made there around a $60 profit on that dress, which we were very happy about. Okay, I know this is a bundle, but absolutely 120% all these items sold for over $50. So let's go over it. There was a bundle of Christian Louboutin patent. Oh, it's not going to let me see it. What were these called? I think they're called the Katie pumps and they were in a graffiti print. Maybe you can see them. They were in a size nine. Just an amazing find. I think they were $100 at a consignment store, but I have never had to sell Louboutins for under like 200. So I was like, are you saying I could make at least 60, $70 profit? I'm just gonna tell you what the whole bundle sold for. So it was that and a Mackage Brenda black wool button front like trench wool jacket from Mackage. This is an older style, but I did find the style name, so that helps. We got that jacket for $60 at a thrift store, one of those fancy thrift stores. So in total, we had around $160 into this bundle and it sold for $730 US dollars. Happy! Not surprised though, for a Mackage wool jacket and a pair of Louboutins, like I'm not surprised. <laughs> There was also a pair of small Aritzia pants in there. Those were priced at 78. We got those for about $20. Oh, I guess. So that would make, hang on. The cost of goods into this bundle would have been around 180, just in case like taxes and stuff, let's call it 200. And it sold for 730 US dollars. So after posh fees and everything, it was 584 US dollars in our earnings. Should we do some real math We're using the actual conversion rate? No, let's just assume around $730 Canadian. It's a bit more than that, but I digress. So minus 200, that is a $530 profit for those three items. Fantastic, amazing, just glorious, just, just a glorious sale when that happened. I was like jumping up and down and I was like, look, so one of those good days that you, you hold out for and then you've met your sale goal for the next like two days. Next was a BA and SH Iris Chunky Waterfall Knit Open Tweed kind of jacket in a size small. This sold for 60 US dollars, giving us 
48 US dollars after shoes or around 60 Canadian dollars. And I do remember it being $18 at a consignment store that had put it on sale a bunch. So that gives us um, around a $40 profit. <laughs> nice. BA and SH is a great bolo brand to pick up. And I think it could have gone for more, but I had a hard time with like describing it in stock photos and stuff. So very happy with that. Next was a All Saints Captain Leah leather square coral pink crossbody bag. One size, it's a purse. We got this at a consignment store for only $20. Amazing. And it's like pristine. Like there was nothing wrong with this, with this purse. And I was like, All Saints purse for $20? Yes, mine. Mine, mine, mine. So it sold for 94 US dollars, giving us conversion, blah, blah, blah. Around 94 Canadian dollars after fees and conversion. So like a $70 profit. I need to stop trying to do that, which is amazing, amazing. So I was very happy about that. Next was a pair of Nilly Lotan Jenna Crop Green Camo Print Raw Hem Pants in a size six. Nilly Lotan is a very expensive brand. And when I looked up comps for these pants, they were selling quite well, somewhere between 50 and $150 depending on like size and things. So these sold in our closet for 70 US dollars, giving us around 70 Canadian after conversion and fees. So that was awesome because these were $13 at the consignment store. Amazing. So that gives us like a 55-ish dollar profit. I would go back and buy those like 80 more times at that cost of goods. Ooh, 40, 40, not gonna make it. Next was a Juicy Couture Knit Slouchy Hobo Bag in cream wool with pom-poms, oversized keywords. Anyway, we got this actually out of Value Village. We got it for $28. So maybe a bit much but it was so big like we couldn't even actually I maybe should have like modeled it on my shoulder or something or put it on the mannequin it was way bigger than it even looked in photos like giant bag so we bought that yeah for $28 it sold for 57 US dollars let's assume that's around <laughs> 57 Canadian. So that gives us around $29 profit. That's good. That is good. It meets our benchmark. We're hoping always for at least $25 of profit, but I was actually hoping for way more. I thought this would sell more like around $70 or $80, but given that this was a US dollar offer, I took it, I liked it, and we move on. Next was a Lululemon textured fleece button jacket of 2021. I put that in the title because it's relevant. In a size four, this was from our consignment client. It sold for 50 US dollars, giving us 40 US dollars or about 25 Canadian dollars each to split with her. Super nice, good flip, awesome, love it. Next was a pair of Aloe Yoga black high-waisted solstice mesh leggings in a size small. Uh, Aloe Yoga leggings are not all created equal, so I want you to look up specific comps when you buy them. I knew that this was a good style of Aloe Yoga leggings, so I was okay paying $20 for them at a consignment store. They sold for $85 US dollars, giving us around $85 Canadian after all the crap, um, or about a $65 profit profit, which is amazing. I'd say that's probably the best profit we've ever made on aloe yoga leggings. These are pretty cool leggings. They're like mostly mesh. I would never wear them myself because I need pockets, but <laughs> I could see why they're quite popular. That was cool. Next was a dress the population black and gold what was the name? Lucy Floral V-neck midi dress in a size large. This was from one of our new consignment clients and we were so happy to sell this for 75 US dollars. That gave us 60 US dollars that we can slip with her or around 75 Canadian, but that doesn't divide by two nicely. So I don't even want to talk about it. But yeah, we were, we were happy that sold. It sold fairly quickly um, from when we got it listed. And yeah, Ooh, next. Amazing, glorious, amazing, glorious, glorious. This is a new tags Shona Joy Lautner tie front mini dress in cream size eight. This sold for 164 US dollars. <laughs> Shona Joy is a very good uh, bolo brand, but if you find it new with tags, you can pay more for it. I paid $50 for this, knowing I'd sell it over a hundred, preferably over a hundred US. So it sold for 164 US, giving us around 164 Canadian. And that actually gives us a $114 profit, which is amazing, glorious, um, basically just luck of constantly going to the same stores. And they had a, a little gold bar for us that time. So we were just really happy. So yeah, sourcing consistently pays off. 
Next was a pair of Lululemon Align Pants. They're the Align Pant 2 in solid black, 25 inch inseam uh, from 2020 in a size 4. They sold for 55 US dollars, like a day after listing them, of course. Plain black modern Align leggings. Yeah, they'll sold real quick. But we got these, I believe, for $25 at a, at a value village. Or at least I know that that's the most I would have paid, so I don't know. It could have been less, but I would have paid up to 25 and I do not remember directly sourcing these anymore. If you want to comb through our old hauls and tell me what I paid. Just kidding, don't do that. That's a waste of time. Okay, so they sold for 55 US dollars, giving us around 55 Canadian dollars after all that and around a $30 profit. Awesome. That's totally what I expect. And they were super quick flip. I just love it. Next was a free people. Man, not a lot of free people in this time frame. I guess it was winter. Anyway, a free people wicked spell lace hem strappy back rayon mini dress, mini dress in a size extra small. They sold for 53 US dollars. Didn't expect that on the US closet. Happy to take it. Expected that from Canada. Anyway, that gives us around 53 Canadian dollars after fees and then converting to Canadian dollars again. And we got this at Value Village for $12. So suck it, Value Village. That's not nice. But that's like a $40 profit, which is awesome. Most free people items, I really am like, okay, we need at least 25, but honestly, it'll max out around 30, 35 in terms of the profit we can make. This one was a nice, pleasant surprise. So that was great. We're banging the rest of these out. Next is the new tags, Guess by Marciano, Parker Silk Cargo Joggers in Cream Tan Shade in a size 6. New tags helps a lot. I wouldn't have thrifted these unless they were new tags, but I didn't even thrift them. They were from our consignment client. So they sold for 78 US dollars, giving us around 78 Canadian that we could split with her which was fantastic and just I highly recommend getting some good consignment clients. Next was an IRO Nora dress, new with tags, in a solid black long sleeve mini dress. It says adjustable v-neck, I think, whatever. In a size EU36, which again, I believe is a small or quite extra small, maybe even. Definitely on the very small end. I put it in the listing, but we're not opening that right now. I sold for 90 US dollars, giving us 72 US dollars, 90 Canadian. And I paid $30 for this at a consignment store. New with tags IRO. Um, yeah, that gives us around a $60 profit, which is lovely. That's lovely. I'm tired. I want to stop filming now. Okay. Okay, next was a Babaton Aritzia Command vegan leather pants ankle length in a size 6. These sold for 60 US dollars, giving us around 60 Canadian dollars to split with again our lovely consignment client who gives us all this Aritzia and stuff and we just we just love her for it. We would love her anyway, but we especially love her for it. <laughs> Next is a pair of new tags Lululemon Speed Tights, Roman numeral 4, version 4, in full on Luxstream, weave black, oh, so many keywords. They were new tags Speed Tights, fairly recent in a size 2. Okay, okay. They sold for 61 US dollars and I believe I actually paid $30 for these at a consignment store because if Lululemon's new tags, I will bump up the most I'm willing to pay for Lululemon leggings by about 10 bucks. These were $30 and 61 US dollars around a $30 profit. Nice, especially they were size two. So I'm happy with that and moving on. Next was a guest by Marciano black wool trench jacket in a size medium. This should have sold for more money. It was amazing. This person got such a good deal. <laughs> it sold for 60 US dollars, giving us around 60 and guessed by Marciano, that's correct, you guessed right, it was from our consignment client. So she got 30, we got 30, I listed this more like $180, because this would have been like a $350 jacket, it's got leather, it's got wool, it's amazing, it's a size medium, it was in flawless condition, and yeah, the person who only paid 60 US for it just got a really great, awesome, awesome deal, and you're welcome. Moving on. Next was an Eddie Bauer Genuine Leather Suede Quilted Heavy Duty Men's Jacket in a size large. We picked this up at the bin, which can't have actually been that cheap. It was very heavy. So I want to say maybe we paid about $10 for this because I know it's per pound and I know that this maybe would have even been like five pounds. <laughs> it was a huge jacket. Anyway, 
It sold for 50 US dollars, giving us around 50 after fees and conversions. So around a $40 profit. That's cool. I was hoping for a bit more, but I'm definitely happy with that. And it's cool to find large, nice suede jackets at the bins. Not that I go very often, but you know, that one time we went, that was nice. Next was a pair of Sorel Tivoli 2 snow short short snow boots in black in a size 8. We picked these up from Value Village for $25. They were new, like barely worn. Amazing. They sold for 80 US dollars, giving us around 25, 80, 55? I think it's a $55 profit, which is amazing. That's totally what I expected from these to sell between like... 70 and a hundred dollars um because they're the short boots which don't usually go over a hundred for Sorel, but they were almost new so i knew that they they had about that much value and they did and um yeah happy about that oh my god it's been one hour and 11 minutes okay we have one more item to go are you ready are you ready last item <laughs> it's a desidual newer tags black and gray sleeveless vein bodycon new length dress in a size 10 new wix tags desidual i got this at a consignment store it was only like 15 dollars, which was amazing i understand why they had a hard time selling it but i also understand that there was profit there so i bought it um it sold for 76 us dollars i think i had a price at like 150 so me but still a good profit but the <laughs> Yes, desidual dress, 76 US dollars, giving us around 76 Canadian dollars after the fees, but then conversion. It's nice that that almost sort of works out like that. I think it actually works out to a bit more. But as I stayed a lot, I don't want to overpromise, underpromise, overdeliver, overdeliver, underprom. Nope. Okay. It was, yeah, like $15. So that gives us around a $60 profit, which is still, yeah, very good, which is why I accepted that offer, even though I think I could have squeezed a little bit more value out of that because it was a size 10 and because it was a new text residual dress and it was super cute and it was black and white too. So it wasn't like too colorful for people, but yes, it was lovely and I'm very happy with it. Ooh, an offer on a bundle. Let me just accept that and get out of here because my voice hurts and my soul. <laughs> this is too long to be filming. Okay. Okay. I love you guys. Thank you so much. If you're still with me right now, you are the MVP. Give yourself a like down below. That's definitely how that works. And hit subscribe because you seem very loyal and I adore you. So <laughs> otherwise, we will see you guys in the next video. And I hope you learned some brands or some items or some tips in here about what you should be looking for when you're outsourcing for items that you can sell over $50. Namaste. <laughs> I'm tired. Bye.